sitemaps are used to tell the search engines about pages on your website that may not otherwise be discovered by the search engines. Generally, there are two types of sitemaps, an HTML sitemap or XML sitemap. Both types will contain a list of the URLs that lead to pages within your website. The HTML sitemap will contain an organized list of HTML coded text links pointing to the important pages on your website. See an example of what an HTML sitemap looks like on this page. The XML sitemap will contain an XML structured list of URLs pointing to all pages on your website which you want the search engines to know about. See an example of what an XML sitemap looks like on this page. If you are knowledgeable about HTML and you know how to hand code, you can create your own HTML sitemap file using a text editor such as Notepad. If you want to spend less time creating the file, then use Adobe Dreamweaver or another HTML editor to assist you. Creating an XML sitemap file for your website is considered an SEO best practice. You can create an XML sitemap file based on the sitemap protocol, either by manually hand coding the file or more efficiently by using an XML sitemap generator. You can try my favorite XML sitemap generator here. XML sitemaps are useful because you can include metadata for various types of content on your website, including video, images, mobile, news, and web page source code. You can also specify within your XML sitemap the date on which a file on your website was last updated. This indicates to the search engines when they need to revisit your files and spider them. Additionally, you can specify the frequency at which you wish for your files to be revisited by the search engines. You can also assign varying levels of priority to each file listed within your XML sitemap. Generally, your home page should have the highest priority assigned to it. There are several important reasons that you should be using an XML sitemap on your website. Your website uses AJAX, is image intensive, or your content is not easily discoverable by the search engines. Your website hosts dynamic content and your URLs have all kinds of funky characters or use session IDs in them. Your website is brand new and has very little in the way of links from other websites pointing to it. Your website has lots of orphan pages within it that are not linked to internally from your home page or other subpages inside of your website. Submitting your XML sitemap. We're only going to address submitting to google.com and to bing.com. These are the engines that matter most at the present time. Yahoo uses Bing search index to power their own search results, so submitting to Bing will get you listed in Yahoo's organic results. Submit to Google.com If you have not already done so, create an account for yourself at Google.com forward slash webmasters. Then, log in and add your website address to your Google Webmaster Tools account. Then follow the on-screen instructions to verify your ownership of the website. On the Webmaster Tools main page, click the website that you wish to work with. Then, under Site Configuration, click Sitemaps. Click the Add or Test Sitemap button. In the text field, paste or type the URL address to your sitemap file. Then, click the Submit Sitemap button. Submit to Bing.com. Create an account for yourself at Bing.com forward slash toolbox forward slash webmaster. If you have not already done so, then log in. On the Home tab, add your website URL, and then follow the on-screen instructions to verify your ownership of the website. Then again on the Home tab, click the website that you wish to work with. Then click the Crawl tab. Click Sitemaps and then click Add Feed. In the Add Feed dialog window, you just paste or type the URL to your XML sitemap file. Then click the Submit button. Pro Tips Pro Tip If you have more than just a few XML sitemap files to submit, which all belong to the same domain name, we recommend that you create a single sitemap index file that lists the other sitemap files on your site and then submit the index sitemap file only and do not submit the XML sitemap files that are listed in the index file. Search engines will discover and visit other XML sitemap file URLs within an index XML sitemap file. Another pro tip, after you have created your XML sitemap file and have uploaded it to your website, you should reference the location of your XML sitemap file inside of your robots.txt file. For more about robots.txt, see this article. 
the proper way in which you reference your XML sitemap file inside of your robots.txt file is to simply append the following line into your robots.txt file. Now that you know about sitemaps, why they are important, how to create and use them, drop what you're doing and go create your sitemaps now. Then watch for an increase in the number of pages that the search engines index on your website.